All right, how you guys doing? This is Drox. I wanted to do a quick tutorial for you guys. This is actually my first tutorial here, but I wanted to do a quick and simple one for you. Uh, this is basically how to use uh, time and stretch and logic to take a song or a loop or whatever you want to do and kind of take that and stretch it uh, to match your BPM of, of the song that you want to insert it in or, or how you want to create it. Uh, so basically what you do is you take your track. What I did was I went ahead and cut this track and bounced it out uh, to its own little part right here because if you edit this track up here and save it out it'll mess with your main track like if you have it saved in your documents or something like that it'll actually change that so you want to bounce out the track so you're not messing with the original track um, and then what you want to do is once you have your little track here that's actually Requiem by Avenged Sevenfold I just figured I'd use that as a sample um, so you'll take you this track right here, and the first thing that you want to find out is your BPM. Uh, so what you do is you go to metering in Logic, BPM counter, select, then you'll pull this up, and it's actually on my other screen, so let me grab it. So what you do here is you'll play... And you see how it's 106.5, so that's, that's what the current BPM is. And so then what you'll do is you'll go here, so you can see your actual track here. Uh, then you go, it'll usually go to this screen, so it'll be on the track screen. Uh, so then you go over to File, go to Functions, and then you want Time and Pitch Machine. So that'll bring up this little screen right here. So what you want to do is you want to, right now it's just showing... Um, the track's actually set to 120 BPM, so it's just showing that in here. But what you want to do is you want to set your original here to the actual speed that the clip is, which was 106.5. And so then you want to set your destination here to what you actually want it to be. So let's say if you want it to 120, that's going to be a little stretch here, but let's see how that sounds. So then you figure that out. It's going to calculate how to get it up to 120. Process and paste. So now it's actually changing the track. Now let's check it out. And there you go. So now it's going to match the BPM of the song right there. Uh, so then you can insert your kicks, snares, whatever you want, kind of remix it and uh, go from there. But uh, that's pretty much the simplest way to uh, change the BPM of a waveform in Logic. All right, thanks, guys. I'll have plenty more to come.